a cop fatally shoots an unarmed black man trapped in a car. I'm going to show you the video and give you the background. Here it is. Get your hands up! Get your hands up! Get your hands up! Get your hands up! Hey, clear, clear! Get your hands up! Get your hands up! Three fifteen shots fired. Put up the picture full of mass. They killed him. That officer in Cobb County, Georgia, killed an unarmed black male inside of the vehicle. Now, you may not have been able to make out the details, but he was literally pinned inside of his car with the airbag fully inflated. The attorneys for the family of 28 year old Devante Brown, who's on the left, a black motorist fatally shot by Cobb County, Georgia officer Ian McConnell, released the body cam footage of the incident that occurred two years ago. We finally have the footage. The, the footage shows the moment Brown was fatally shot multiple times in August 2021 after he was pulled over for driving erratically in Marietta. In the video, Brown's damaged vehicle is surrounded by police patrol cars at the scene. And it appears that his airbags were deployed. Get your hands up, McConnell repeat, repeated. Get your effing hands up. Brown is still inside of the car at this time. Moments later, Brown pressed on the gas and the cop shot into the vehicle 12 times. Civil rights attorney Harry Daniels argued in a statement on Thursday that the officer was not under immediate threat when the officer opened fire. Why is that statement important from attorney Daniels? That statement is important because in order for a cop to kill you, you have to pose immediate imminent threat against the officer or someone else readily visible to that officer. Neither applied here at all, not even close. There's more. The officer then reported that shots were fired, requested first responders, uh, responders to the scene. About midway through the video, law enforcement officials approached Brown's car. The GBI previously said he was transferred to a local hospital where he was pronounced dead. Devante obviously got himself in a situation where he was being chased by police, Daniels told WSB TV. Absolutely deadly force was not warranted in this case. I mean, he was trapped. He couldn't get away. He was blocked in. There's no getting away and using deadly force in that situation. It was completely uncalled for. And in my opinion, it was unlawful, end quote, from Harry Daniels. The Cobb County Police Department responded to the video and released a statement saying that the officer was not charged. Quote, first and foremost, our thoughts are with, our thoughts are with everyone affected by this tragic event, including the family of Devontae Brown and all involved officers. The statement said, per the outlet, the loss of life is always a somber matter. And we approach this situation with the utmost seriousness and sensitivity. It continued, following the incident, an independent investigation was requested by Cobb police and conducted by the GBI. The findings of this investigation were turned over to the Cobb County DA's office and the case was heard by the grand jury. The grand jury concluded that there were no grounds for charges against the officer involved. Now, I can't tell you what was said to the grand jury or how the case was presented. 
because grand juries are top secret. I can also tell you that typically, we have seen this in Georgia justice, those grand jury proceedings because of their secret nature. Many times those prosecutors will wink and nod to let the grand jury know exactly how he or she would like the grand jury to decide. Uh, Regardless of what the grand jury has said, clearly the two elements that are required based on precedent were not present in this situation. The cop was not in imminent danger, nor was someone directly visible to the officer. All right, Sharon, thoughts here. Yeah, I remember covering Ferguson and being on the front lines there and Officer Darren Wilson. Remember they had him up on a grand jury. And I remember the career prosecutor, it was really Michael Brown who was Mm -hmm. on trial. It was, you know, because he, some marijuana, something like that, and a little strong arm, something at a convenience store. This is a game. And despite what our eyes see, Dr. Ritchie, we're supposed to believe this twisted pretzel of an explanation. And the other thing that offended me greatly, this man is dead. I've had an airbag go off and I don't know if I even know which way I'm moving. It, my face got messed up and everything. For them to put out a statement about this tragic incident and how seriously they take it and all those affected and name the officers, you can go on and leave that out of my loved one's statement. That shows you yeah. how much they care or don't. Yeah, uh, and listen, you make a great point when you're in a situation like that, airbag has been deployed, right? We don't know if he had what we call lead foot, where basically he's in an accident and his foot just dropped down, kind of locked into uh, the gas pedal. You know why we don't know? Because he's dead. There's no explanation. Here's what we do know. We do know that he was not creating a threat for the officer. And we do know that no one was in front of him for a threat to be noticed by the officer. We know that as a fact. All right, we will update as the story develops.